Hey guys, and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing video. Now, I was doing the rounds on Twitter the other day, and I came across this very interesting and hilarious post. This could be us, but you said Animal Crossing was a kid's game. Now, the most interesting thing about this post to me is the fact there's an Animal Crossing wedding cake with Animal Crossing cake toppers on it. Now, I think a lot of people really agreed on this, that this was such a crazy idea, because look at all of those retweets and likes. The concept of an Animal Crossing wedding cake is kind of strange because Animal Crossing isn't really a romantic game at all by nature. I mean, it does have Valentine's Day and kind of stuff like that, but at the same time, there's nothing really romantic about Animal Crossing at all. It's not one of those life simulator games where you could get married to someone or another player even. I took a look on Reddit and I found this very popular post, and this was only six months ago. Animal Crossing wedding cake toppers with me and my fiance. Now first of all, these look really cool and they're obviously kind of styled after the Animal Crossing amiibos, which I love a lot. But still, I've never really thought of doing something like this. I mean, I'm not married and I'm not engaged to anyone, so it kind of makes sense that this thought would never pop into my head. But even when I'm thinking about love, the thought of having an Animal Crossing themed wedding has never really occurred to me. And this is coming from someone who is a massive Animal Crossing fan, so it really made me wonder, are there a lot of people out here who are really interested in this kind of thing? And it seems like there are. So looking on Google, I found absolutely tons, tons of these Animal Crossing wedding cake toppers. Most of them are kind of styled after the amiibos, which again is very cool. And you even have some people doing custom ones out there too. These ones look like they're themed after the older Animal Crossing ones. But yes, if you want to have an Animal Crossing wedding, you can actually go and get your custom made cake toppers. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, in fact, did an event, I believe sometime this year, that was kind of themed around weddings, which I find very, very funny. I don't know who they want you to get married to in this game, but hey, if you want to get married or experience a wedding, you can do that in an official Animal Crossing game. But I wanted to talk about something that I really, really liked, a little story from years gone by. As you can probably tell just by how old this image looks, I mean, look at all that wood. <laughs> this is a story of the engagement between Adam and Sarah, which was done through Animal Crossing GameCube. This is such a really nice story, and although I didn't think anything like this would be possible at all, I really wanted to talk about it because it is such a cute little story. So IGN posted an article about this back in 2005, that is such a long time ago it feels, I remember Doctor Who was coming out on the time at TV and I was a very young lad. And a lot has changed since then, especially with Animal Crossing, I mean this is back when Animal Crossing was not the global phenomenon that it is now. I did not play this game when it came out, but I do know that this game was not nearly as popular as some of the later ones that came. I know the GameCube itself as a system kind of struggled a bit, but still, this was when Animal Crossing wasn't as well known, so you would definitely not see as many Animal Crossing wedding cake toppers. The article says, On Valentine's Day, Adam told Sarah to boot up Animal Crossing so they could see the game's special Valentine celebrations. Upon opening her mail, Sarah saw the letter and swiftly opened it. So first of all, it's really cute that he would set it up so it was done during Valentine's Day in the game. It's kind of a shame that this game doesn't really have much going on on Valentine's Day, but still, it is incredibly cute. Then we move on. She accepted the proposal, as you can kind of see from the image, and the couple is now underway to tying the knot. Very cute. So it looks like the couple actually did end up getting married back in 2005 or 2006, I don't really know. But because of a game like Animal Crossing, which clearly helped them become closer together, at least so the article says, they got married. Now, it's not to say Animal Crossing is entirely responsible for their marriage, but it's certainly responsible for their proposal here, and it's such a unique way of doing it, I definitely agree with that wording. Moving on, it says that even Nintendo was interested by this proposal, which is crazy. I mean, I don't know, Nintendo does definitely get involved in some fan stuff, but I feel like back then it would have been quite rare to see something like this. But I guess because the proposal was so unique and interesting, Nintendo themselves wanted to get involved. So it's kind of crazy to me to think a game like Animal Crossing could spur on engagements and marriages even. 
But I guess that's the power of a game that you can kind of share with anyone, whether that's someone you love or, you know, a family member or even just a friend. The fact that you can move people into your towns and kind of share your life with them in this game in a way is something that I feel like a lot of us want, maybe we don't have. But hey, even if we don't have someone to get engaged to, at least we can go around our Animal Crossing town and chat with our villagers. I took a little sleuthing on Twitter, as usual, and it looks like the couple is still together today, which is lovely, and I wish them the best of luck with their lives. Hopefully they're going to play Animal Crossing New Horizons when it comes out. There's still time to write cute letters, Adam and Sarah too, if you want. If you guys want to help support the channel, you can click the join button down below and become a member of the Bob's Gang. All of these lovely people have helped support the channel. I want to thank them so much, and you can get a bunch of cool perks if you do become a member of the Bob's Gang. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to make, and it's such a lovely story. I mean, I know the image is kind of funny in a way because it's so dated now looking at it, but it's still so lovely, and, you know, I really do wish them the best of luck. So leave a like if you enjoyed, and of course, subscribe for more Animal Crossing content.